The power of your habits can either make you or break you. They can make you successful or unsuccessful. Did you know that only about 8% of people who set New Year's resolutions every year actually are able to achieve them? And a full 80% have thrown in the towel after the first four weeks. And there are some reasons for this. Uh, Duke University did a study that showed that almost 45% of everything that, or excuse me, actually almost 50% of everything we do is uh, by habit, it's habitual, ha is habitual behavior, meaning that one out of every two things that we do is actually by habit. So um, when we form a habit, it actually forms a new neural pathway in our brain and we are actually hardwired uh, to do what the things that we do, we've actually hardwired that in our brain. And so that shows you how hard it is to actually form new habits and stop doing old habits because it, there's an actual neural pathway in our brain that's hardwired in us. So how do we form those new good habits? There are three key things. Uh, one of them is is you actually have to have a compelling reason or purpose or why that makes you want to form that new habit and then you have to commit to actually doing that. Secondly, uh, you have to set yourself up for success so that you have a, a chance to actually succeed. So you have to set up cues and prompts and systems so that you're actually able to achieve that new habit. And then thirdly, you have to make it a routine. Uh, there was a study done that showed that it takes on average about 66 days to actually form a new habit. And that can be take longer or shorter depending on the person and the, compl and the complexity of the habit, but on average about 66 days. And so as an example, let's, uh, let's say that you decided that you wanted to get up at 5.30 and start working out every morning, which is actually two new habits that you're trying to set. Um, so you have to set those systems and cues and prompts in place so that you're going to be successful. So, first to, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to actually want to go to bed earlier the night before because if you go to bed at midnight every night, uh, you're setting yourself up for failure because you won't ever be able to get up at 5.30 every morning and you won't be successful, you won't be productive because you are too tired and you'll, and you'll give it up before you've barely even started. So you have to go to bed around 10, 10.30 so that you can actually get up at 5.30 in the morning every, every morning. Set your alarm across the room or in the next room. Uh, that way you actually have to get out of bed so that you can go turn it off. If you have it there next to you, you don't have that um, prompt to get out of bed. So put it across the room so you have to get out of bed. Uh, thirdly, set out your workout clothes, uh, your equipment, if you're going to be working out there at the, in your house, um, whatever it is that you need to have yourself ready uh, in the morning without any extra brain power that you would have to use so that you're just ready to go. Um, and then fourth of all, you have to make it a routine. So you want to do it for at least for two months straight so that you have set that neural pathway in your brain and you've, and you've made sure that it's hardwired and cemented um, as a formed habit. When I actually started doing this, I did it for almost a year straight because I was afraid of going back to my old ways. But if you're serious and you're committed, you'll know when you have set that habit. So, and something interesting that you'll discover that when you actually commit and you have achieved a new habit, it um, changes your whole perception of yourself. You have a new opinion of yourself. You have new confidence because uh, you actually achieved what you said you were going to achieve. And this forms momentum and now you want to form new good habits. You want to... Um, you, this makes you want to improve yourself, self-growth, because you have achieved this confidence from within. You didn't get it. You didn't get it out there. You built this new confidence in yourself, this new integrity, this new commitment, uh, this new self-resolve, and it changes your whole outlook on everything. So. What are some of those good habits that you should set for yourself so that you can succeed? And there are three key things um, 
for these uh, habits that will help you succeed. And one of them is self-education. Jim Rohn, a motivational speaker and author, um, one of the things that he used to say was, formal education will make you a living, self-education will, uh, will make you a fortune. So um, your circumstances around you are only going to change as much as you change and improve yourself. Uh, secondly, your health. You have to commit to being healthy and to good nutrition because if your body and brain isn't working at you know fully optimal levels, then you are unable to achieve anything else. You don't have the energy and the stamina or the brain power that you need to help you to succeed. So your health is very important. And thirdly, you have to visualize, plan, and schedule your day, uh, your week, and even your life. So. Take time every morning or the night before to plan out your next day, exactly what it is that you are going to achieve that next day. On the Sundays, plan your entire next week so that you know what your week looks like. Uh, monthly, go over your goals that you set uh, the month before and uh, see uh, where you're at and uh, reset for the next month your goals and your year plan out your year in every aspect every aspect of your life um, so that you know uh, where you're going for that next year what your goals are what your plans are what your hopes and dreams are for that next year because if you don't set that for yourself well then you're going to be led around by everybody else's dreams and desires and plans so you want to set those goals for yourself so I hope that uh, you have found some of these tips helpful on making new habits, and I'll see you again next time. And also, please subscribe below by hitting the subscribe button, and if you would like a transcript of this video, you can click the link below.